Welcome back to another episode of Good Time Bikes, sponsored by Richard's Bicycles, where today I'll be answering the old question of how to bring back some shine to a 50 or 60 year old paint job. I'll go over the tools and materials it takes to make that happen, exactly how to do it, and I'll also go over how to refurbish a chain guard and exactly what you don't want to do. And by the time this episode's done, I'll be one step closer to getting my Stingray back on the road. Now let's get started. Okay guys, first things first, we have our compound, our polisher with whatever head you prefer, microfiber towel, and finally whatever wax, quick detailer, or polish you prefer as well. And as for our compound, it's an actual compound. It's not a regular polish. So always read your labels and notice mine says, removes moderate below surface defects and restores gloss. So that's what we're looking for. We don't want just a regular polish because I have a lot of scuffs, scratches, and I'm looking to smooth that out and bring some glossy shine back. Next, for my buffer, I'll actually be using a pneumatic one. Do you need a pneumatic one? No, absolutely not. A battery powered one can work just as well. And for this, I'll be using a foam head. They also make fleece heads, which are a little bit softer. You could use that as well. Now, before I get into this, it's worth mentioning that foam heads are much more abrasive, where a fleece head is a lot softer and not as aggressive. And the same thing goes for polishes or compounds. If you get a compound, you want to make sure it's a very light compound. We need to be worried about whether or not we're going to burn through the paint. If the paint on your frame is nice enough already, and you just want to bring back a little more shine to it, then I would go with a fleece head and a polish. You don't need to use a compound in that case. If your paint is more like mine, where there is more oxidation, a lot of scuffs and scratches you're trying to get out, then in that case you'd use a foam head with a real light compound like I'm doing in this video. Regardless of the condition of your paint, it's always smart to do a test spot on the down tube underneath the bike. That way you get a feel for how much time you can spend in one area and how hard you should push. In my case, I'm using a moderate amount of pressure and staying in one area, moving back and forth for no longer than five seconds. Before you even touch the buffer to the paint, you'll first want to moderately saturate the head of the buffer. Be sure you rub it in and don't soak it because that'll cause a mess. Next, it's time to dab my compound onto the frame and use the head of the buffer to make sure my working area is equally covered. Once the area is covered, go ahead and buff, but remember to use the proper amount of time and pressure. After you're done buffing, come in with a microfiber towel and clean up the excess compound. This is where you'll see a fantastic shine come back. Finally, I like to finish off with a quick detailer wax and a fresh microfiber towel. Next, let's get a little more detailed and talk about decals. Here's where you need to know if you have a water slide decal or if it was silk screened. Not all bikes are the same, but in my case, where it says Schwinn, it's actually a water slide decal, which can be resilient, but it's always wise to take extra care in this area. That's why I do this portion by hand. And remember, if you're not sure, do a small test spot. Okay, so here's a big one that, surprisingly, a lot of people actually don't know. While the majority of the chain guard is just like the frame, you have to treat the lettering on the chain guard completely different. It'll vary from one model to the next, but specifically to stingrays and crates, this isn't a regular decal. It's a silk screen, and these letters were silk screened on the chain guard many decades ago. What does all this mean? It means you absolutely cannot touch it whatsoever. For example, if you so much as get this area wet and you brush up against it, it'll smear right off like it was never there. So unless you're interested in learning how to silk screen, remember, <laughs> don't touch it.
Well guys, there it is. That's how I like to bring some high gloss back to an old frame like this. A 55 year old paint job and it really hasn't looked that shiny since 1966 when it rolled off the factory floor in Chicago. I'm super excited to get this bike back on the road and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for the next episode. I'll see you next time.